Hi, it's Saturday and it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, have a safe one. And I love history, but my favorite part of history is the Revolutionary War period. I, you know, in preparation for the sermon that I'm preaching today, I stumbled upon or was reminded how, yes, the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, right? 1776, our founding fathers, and my favorite, you know, <laughs> uh, fact is that John Hancock, he signed the declaration with big letters because he says, I want King George to, to read my signature without his spectacles. And so John Hancock made sure also that George Washington, General George Washington, who was in New York, um, received a copy of the Declaration of Independence so that he can read to his men. George received the Declaration July 9th and, and, and the British, British uh, troops were landing in Staten Island, over 30,000 soldiers, and they were in New York. And so even though the Founding Fathers had declared independence, there was still a war going on. And here is George Washington. He calls the troop. He reads the declaration. And yeah, it got them excited and they were, but they were still not free until seven years later when the Treaty of Paris was signed. But here's today's thought. Even though they were not free in their mind and in their heart, they were free. And I want to read to you John chapter 8, verse 36, where Jesus says, Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. On this 4th of July Sabbath, Saturday, I want to remind you, if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are free, free from the penalty of sin, free from the grasp of sin. Free, But as we look around, especially in this pandemic, we don't see ourselves free from sin and temptations. Well, we need to behave just like our early Americans. That even though they were not declared free from Great Britain until seven years later, the, the declaration was written, you and I, need to behave and live and follow Jesus and take his word. If he says we are free in him, then we are truly free. And that's my thought as I sit on my chair, yellow chair. God bless you. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. God bless you.